You know, it was such a beautiful day outside. I decided to give my chauffeur the day off and drive myself over. Hello, Mrs. Hobson. How, How are you? you? Quite well, thank you. We uh, really weren't expecting you, Donna. Oh, I'm sure you weren't, but Sandy is. Didn't he mention it? Nope. Well, uh, we were supposed to discuss a fund raising drive. Oh, that's funny. He, he didn't mention it to me. Did he say anything to you about it? No, no, not to me. Anyway, he isn't here right now. Oh, dear. Well, where is he? He went to the store. Yeah, he went to the store. Well, I'll just have to talk to him later then. Is Rachel here? Nope. She's still in New York. I suppose there hasn't been any more news on Carl. Why do you ask? Well, naturally, I'm frightened that he'll return to Bay City. You know, he seems to have a hideous grudge against certain people here. And the Corys are on the top of the list. Uh -huh. Well, we haven't heard anything. I just shudder even thinking that he's alive. If you hear anything, would you please let me know? I'm absolutely terrified that there's going to be a knock on the door one day and Carl's going to be standing there. I'll let you know. Uh, excuse me. Oh, no. No, it's, it's all right. Uh, Donna, this is Detective Barnes of the Bay City Police Department. How do you oh, do, ma'am? Hello. We thought that we had a break-in last night, uh, but it turned out to be nothing. Isn't that right, Detective? Uh, yes, that's right, Mr. Frame. It's just a false alarm. You've got a... Uh, an overly sensitive security system here. That reminds me, I haven't tested my security system in a few weeks. I think I'll just go home right now and 